dear mayor, distinguished guests, citizens of Grenoble, and from other cities connected tonight. A very good evening to you all. Thank you, Mayor, for this invitation. And indeed, thank you for hosting the third edition of the Biennale. I know Mayor Coffin from Essen, the European Green Capital 2017, is joining. And that Lati, this year's Green Capital, are also involved. That's great, because in times like these, we need to build bridges. Cooperation is the name of the game. Cities in transition is taking that to the heart. And that's exactly what we need to create urban spaces that are healthier, happier places. It's a journey that needs everyone on board. And that's why we launched the Green City Accord last year. By signing up to the Accord, cities agreed to accelerate the implementation of environmental laws to take stronger action on those factors that affect our daily lives, areas like air, water, nature, circular economy, waste and noise. So if there are cities watching that haven't joined the Accord yet, I encourage you to have a look at it and sign up as soon as possible, because I'm deeply convinced that cities and their mayors are key actors for change demanded by citizens. The pandemic has had a huge impact on our daily lives, and we all hope the end is in sight. For our society, the crisis raises obvious questions like how we stop it from happening again, or most important for today, how do we recover? How do we rebuild? And despite the difficulties, it is an opportunity, a chance that we have to build back better, to build a better future where our societies and our economies function within the boundaries of the natural systems and become more resilient, where our actions contribute to restore a balance with nature, where they nurture the health and well-being of people and the planet. Because we can do so much better. We are losing biodiversity at an accelerating pace and the impacts of climate change are increasing. Our consumption and production patterns are used up resources much too fast and contribute to increased pollution, affecting our health, the environment. But we don't have a quick fix nor a unique solution. We need systemic changes and solution across all sectors of our lives and our economies. Changes that come from determined individuals, their ideas and initiatives, people with the courage to drive the change, whether in local governments or at national level, in enterprises and on farms, in schools and within their own home. To help overcome the crisis, the European Commission, the European Parliament and the Council have agreed to an EU recovery plan. It's built around a vision the European Green Deal, which aims at laying the foundations of a more modern, more sustainable Europe. The deal has a mantra at its heart, do no harm. It means make sure your actions are in harmony with nature and the environment. Make sure that they are mastered, that they are good for biodiversity and that they are avoiding pollution and that they are may keeping resources in circulation and not just creating useless waste. That way, we advance to climate neutrality and we restore the nature we depend on. The kind of deal that the young generation calls us upon and that everyone must get behind. A deal to which cities can contribute by joining the Green City Accord. Europe is much more than good intentions. The recovery from the pandemic and the delivery of the Green Deal objectives is supported by a vast amount of funding. The EU's long-term budget coupled with next generation EU, the instrument designed to boost the recovery will be the largest stimulus package ever financed through the EU budget. A total of 1.8 trillion will help rebuild a post-COVID-19 Europe towards a greener, more digital and more resilient Europe. In this endeavor, Local authorities and regions will play a huge role, with 75% of the EU population living in cities and with urban population expected to raise cities, they are central in achieving the sustainability transition. You are the actors to make our cities more resilient to the challenges that are bound to come. You are the hubs of ideas, creativity, interaction and engagement where new sustainable solutions can be born, tested and thrive. And for these ideas and solutions, you can count on use increased support. Through the structural fund, 
the research funds from Horizon program and those from the LIFE program for nature, biodiversity and the fight against climate change. And as of this year, energy efficiency and renewable energy projects will also benefit from LIFE. Overall, 30% of all spending from the EU budget and the recovery instrument should go towards climate goals. The green capitals are showcasing the sector of changes we need. Many of the winners attract more investment as they become more attractive places to invest. That leads to new jobs, improving the livelihoods of city inhabitants. Funding is crucial, but to spur the transition, we need to work together. When you want large-scale change, you need cooperation across sectors and at all levels of society. Grenoble, Essen and Lati are showing how that can happen. They cooperate closely with all stakeholders in the city. They involve businesses, universities and municipalities at the technical and political levels. And more than anything, they involve their citizens, the individuals who really drive change. But we won't get large-scale change from only a few pioneers leading the way. You have to show others how it's done. You have to spread your knowledge and share your experiences and expertise. Grenoble has created a local citizens' assembly to support the ambition of going carbon neutral by 2040. Bristol involved nearly 1,000 businesses as part of the Green Capital Partnership. Lati is recycling more than 99% of household waste. And Nijmegen is protecting biodiversity with a Natura 2000 network inside the city. These are examples that need to be shared. They are examples that show how we can implement the objectives of the European Green Deal, and that involves empowering citizens in all aspects of their lives to take action, because we all have an essential role to play, each at our level. That's what's essential. We have no time to lose. And it's why I'm so pleased at this sense of urgency at the heart of the Biennale. And it's great to have you all on board. Thank you for your attention and I wish you all a very successful event for the next three days.